I've got a Fire HD Amazon tablet here in my hand. It's the seventh generation, so it's a couple of years old. And I'm going to install Rough Animator on this today. On today's episode of the Expat Animator. Before we get started, I need to switch my overhead camera setup, so I won't be able to be on camera. I'm going to need some help for this tutorial. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to Gringo Pat. Okay, let's get this party started. So as you can see, I'm running FireOS 5.6.8.0, and I'm just going to check for updates. I think that's the latest I can have installed on this device. And yeah, it looks like that's it. So let's just go ahead and go to see if we can figure this out by going to the App Store. And now I'm going to search for Rough Animator. And I've never installed it on this pro on this device before. But it's got it. Here's some screenshots. It's got four to five or four to five stars out of 85 people. And that's what it's gonna look like on this tablet. So the interface looks same as on other devices. It's got settings. So this looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. Uh, so let's do $4.99 here on the Amazon store. So let's go ahead and try and buy it. And I'm assuming this is going to be purchased on my Amazon account. A little surprised it didn't ask for a password. Okay, so it looks like we can open it here. I'm going to just launch the program for the first time. And we've got a new project here, so let's try that. And let's just call this test 01. And I'm going to just make this 1920 by 1080 because that's the size I like to work at. I like to work at 30, so let's just go 30. And let's hit OK. All right. This looks very similar to the interface on my iPad. So let's just go ahead and see if I can draw with my finger here. And I can. I'm not noticing any pressure sensitivity. Uh, one thing I like about the tablet versions versus the Mac versions is it's got this full screen view for the drawing. Uh, and I actually like using that. But So it doesn't matter how hard I press, uh, I'm not getting pressure sensitivity on this device. But uh, depending on how you like your line work, that can be a positive thing. Let's just try a few of the tools here. And rotate scale looks to be working pretty good. Let's try eraser. Uh, let's see. Let's go to tool options. Okay, I need to change my eraser size. Okay. So uh, the tools are all in the same place. This is actually pretty good. Uh, let's try and add a drawing, add after. Yep, that works okay. Uh, let me do, let's do three drawings here. Let's go back to the first one. And let's just, I'm gonna go to my draw tool. Let's just do a couple of drawings here. Let's try onion skin and drawing number three. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can't make a cycle. So let's add a drawing after and make a cycle. And let's add a few frames to that cycle. And then let's try and play that back. That looks, it seems to be working pretty good here. Let's, let's go ahead and hold the drawings here for a little bit longer. So our animation's not so fast. And then I'm gonna go to the cycle and let's go ahead and Add a few more to the cycle, and let's play that. Yeah, that plays a little bit better. So, so far I'm actually liking uh, these 
tools are working. Undo works good. Uh, let's try and use the paint bucket tool. Well, that works pretty good. So I'm actually uh, thinking that this was working pretty well on the Fire Tablet. It seems to have pretty much every tool I can think of that my Mac version has so far anyways. Yeah, duplicate layer, timing to blank drawings. This is pretty cool. Add drawings, we get all the same options here, it looks like. Uh, let's check out the settings. So we've got, we can change our resolution. Uh, let's go ahead and go to quarter to just see if that makes a difference when we do playback. Oh, I see what it's doing here. Is If we zoom in here, that's it's making our line work less clear. So let's go back to full and take a look. Yeah, okay. So that's what that does. So we've got some button settings here. Oh, we can even set the volume buttons to do stuff. That's interesting. Let's see what we can do with those. Undo, redo. Oh, that could be interesting. Or forward, back. I might actually try that at some point. You can set your onion skinning opacity. So this looks like it has a lot of the same features here as, if not all of them, as the desktop version. So pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and look at our export options. So we can import audio, images, and video. We can change our frame rate and we can export our video. So let's try that. Yep. All right. Let's see what our options are here. Same as before. We've got video, we've got GIF, and we've got PNG sequence. So if you're familiar at all with this program on a different device like the Mac PC, iPad, whatever, these are all pretty much the same. And you can check your quality. I'm just going to go ahead and export this and see where it goes. Uh, we can save it, send it via Bluetooth, or email it. Uh, let's just go ahead and save the file. And it lets you pick where you want to save it. I'm going to go ahead and let's pick. So Rough Animator's actually got a folder here. Let's just throw it into my documents. And I'll save it. Now let's go see if I can go find that. Documents. Local storage, and here it is. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if it'll play it. Yep, let me see if I can share it. So Bluetooth and email are my options right now. So at least I can get this to my computer where I can edit it further. I'm actually pretty happy with how the program is running on this device. Now I'm sure if you wanted to do complicated animations, this might not be the best device, but if you wanna learn you know, you can get one of these for like around 100, I think they're a max of 150 bucks or so, and they're always on sale for like 100 bucks. So, you know, for a 10 inch tablet, and even without a stylus, you could get some animation work done. So I'm going to give this a thumbs up. And if you need to install this on your Fire tablet, I think for five bucks, this is a good way to go. My name is Patrick Davidson, the expat animator. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.